Hey guys, Yankee here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on I'm the hero, but the demon lord's also me. I think I'll be able to keep this one relatively short, because there's not really a whole lot to talk about here. This is a four-volume harem series by uh, Tatsuya Endo and Akiyoshi Ota. I picked this up because uh, Tatsuya Endo did... Endo did um, Ninkoi and Inbura, which were two harem series that I read uh, fan translations of and enjoyed, and Akiyoshi Ota did, oh boy, I can't remember what it's called, uh, he did a cross-dressing harem manga that I read and also enjoyed, um, and so that's why I was sort of interested in this. It's an artist I know and have enjoyed, working with a writer I know and enjoyed. This is a harem manga where the main character is barely relevant, and it's just endless character introductions. <laughs> so, every, like, couple chapters is a new character getting introduced. So, um, our main character, who you can see way over here, right there, he is the hero, and he is also the, the new demon lord. Uh, his father was a hero that got summoned to a different world, who fell in love with the demon lord and they ran back to earth to get married and also uh they both had magical swords that uh one is wielded by a girl and the other is the girl uh, these two girls she wields a magic sword or she doesn't wield it it's like inside her or something and then it comes out and then this one turns into it or it's the other way around i don't remember um one of them becomes a sword and the other one just like has the sword that the hero can pull from her so these are this is our main harem uh princess from another world trying to recruit the hero to come to the other world to save it demon lord trying to get the demon lord to come back and do demon lord things uh two swords that's our harem this is like not even half the female cast that's introduced um there are so many characters that None of the girls really get time to shine. Our main character doesn't really get time to shine. We get some fights here and there. But for the most part, it's just a cranking out new characters. Um, so we don't really get character development or character depth or even like interesting character relationships. Um, the princess here gets reduced to basically like a joke like all the characters are just jokes so this is just a gag manga that happens to have like revolve around harem stuff like the harem stuff isn't even like the primary thing it's just introducing characters um boobs move on and then uh the series gets canceled and then we quickly get like a two-page like oh here's a flash forward where the main character uh married all four girls and uh, impregnated them <laughs> and that's the manga there's not really much else to talk about it's again character 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 um the setup is interesting where um our main character is the child of the previous hero and the demon lord and i i'm pretty sure it, like in here it's set up that his family is just a long line of heroes that get summoned to that world um his mother is dead uh but she is also reincarnated and that's something that's sort of uh, set up but doesn't really lead to anything because it gets cancelled where like uh, demons get reborn um, so like there's another demon that died and is reborn and is just hanging out in the main character's school and again we don't really get much time on that because again we have more characters to introduce um, but the main character's dad is uh, an interesting guy and I wish like this series was about him because his whole thing is, he's a hero, got someone to the other world, fell in love with the demon lord, brought her back to Earth and married her, and now he's a light novel writer who just basically wrote about what happened to him. Um, and there's even, like, I think it's very beginning of the series where, like, it's mentioned that the light novels aren't particularly great, they're really generic, but, like, the details are so good. And, like, the reason the details are good is because he actually lived it. So he knows, like, a lot of details about this world and, like, things that are happening. But, like, all the events that happen to him are just really generic isekai stuff. Um, that's neat. His father is fun. Um, 
I think <sighs> this is a fine read. It's not the best. Um, for what it is, it's fun. I like that it's like the con I'm, com I'm kind of complaining about the constant characters getting introduced, but it's sort of fun in its own way. Like once you know that's what's happening and it's just character overload like all right here's a new character uh, here's her very uh flat personality and the joke that her entire character revolves around um and then okay here's the next one and the next one it's fun it's not if you're looking for like something like a harem series that focuses more on romance or like the girls have uh depth to their character and arcs and you're not you're not getting that here it's just very flat characters um silly hijinks like and and that's it um artwork is good i really like tatsuya endo's art um and again the writing isn't it doesn't have depth but it is it's fun um i don't know if i would recommend people go out and buy this i say maybe if you can find like the first volume cheap pick it up give it a try um it's not bad. For a short four-volume series, it was alright. I enjoyed it. I'm glad that I have it. Um, but I can't really strongly recommend people go out and get it. Um, the only people that I would say maybe should pick it up are people like me that really like harem endings. Because even if it's just like a two-page rushed ending, it it's there. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, good art silly story with way too many characters it's not terrible it's all right um i enjoyed i enjoyed it well enough right uh but yeah that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time